Okay, today's um, presentation is called uh, Installing RStudio R and RStudio on your Windows computer. There isn't much difference if you're uh, doing a Mac, so if you need help, there will be another video up for that. <clears throat> First thing you do is you, you go to this link and download the uh, program. It doesn't cost anything. This one up here, if you have a Windows, this one down here if you have a Mac. Uh, then you install the program. I'm going to go ahead and do a split screen thing here. Uh, get out of there. Doing some other things here. Close out of all this extra stuff. <clears throat> okay, so we go, we we go to the download here, and we want to we'll, we'll just right click on it and say open hyperlink, and it'll download it, and then we'll just say run. Let me pause this while that's downloading. Okay, so it's it's gone it's gone into my downloads, and um, it is called r 3.02.win I just click on it and say run. My computer asks if that is okay. The first thing it'll it'll do will will ask me my um, uh, uh, base language. So uh, <clears throat> if if you're more comfortable in a language other than English, there are a bunch of them to choose from. So you're in luck there. So um, mine is English. So I'll just click OK on English and go to Next. Accept the license agreement. It's pretty straightforward. Click Next, which will allow it to install uh, customized startups. I already have it installed, so it, it, yours won't pop up like that. Um, user installation files, accept all. Select customized. Um, Startups, uh, select yes. Then you want to choose SDI, which is the one on the bottom here, because this is helpful if you're on a laptop, for example, um, um, or a smaller computer, because you can keep your, your programs in. Uh, separate windows versus in one big window. So um, your your text HTML help seems to work better for me. You can have plain text if you like. But the reading's not that great. Standard internet. Um, create a startup program. Uh, if you want to put an icon on your desktop, say OK. Uh, you can pretty much leave this the default. And then it will do what it's doing. Shouldn't take very long for it to install. It's not that big of a program. Click Finish. Then you can download and install the RStudio program. It's pretty much um, a, a simple install. Just be sure and choose the right system. So in this case, it's a Windows. So you can click on that. If you have a Mac, you can click on that. If you have Linux, well, you'll probably know what you're doing anyway. So um, that's a straightforward install. I don't need to show you how to do that. 
Now, installing R Commander and other necessary packages. There's a handy little tool called R Commander, and uh, um, it, along with thousands of other packages, have been <coughs> contributed to R uh, from academics and programmers around the world. So, uh, so what do you do is, is you go into your programs, find that R program that you just installed, um, click on it, R, and then uh, RX64. That's assuming you have a 64-bit uh, computer. So, um, and this is the R program, pretty basic. Um, I know it's not going to excite you all that much. Um, uh, let me make this a little bit bigger uh, by updating my GUI preferences, my graphic user interface president, to make, make my text a little bit bigger. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and save. Oops. Click OK. And it's a little bit bigger. All right. Um, next step we want to do is, is go to my, my, my website at UMKC and download this, um, this file. So um, open this hyperlink up. And you'll see this little simple web page. And you'll download this script to your computer. Now, in some, some web browsers, it'll open up. Some, some web browsers it'll, it'll download. It doesn't really matter. Uh, just hit Control S or Control, whoops, Control A, which will select everything on that web page, and then Control C, which will copy everything, and then you come over here. Uh, you come to the uh, uh, file, and then New Script. File, new script. And then you just hit control V and paste everything in there that I just uh, that you that I had just uh, copied from that web page. So and then I can hit control S and I'll save it as something. So uh, I'll just say R Commander That's good enough. I'll just say our commander. I'll put it on my desktop because I probably won't need it after this. But put it wherever you want to. All right. So so now I have my our commander script. Then I uh, uh, saved it. Then I go to my edit menu on my editor, and then I select run all. going to pop up a um, list of, of places to download the programs from. The Zero Cloud tries to pick the best uh, uh, spot, or you can go ahead and pick one that you know is close. You can either pick the one in, in Missouri, which is at St. Louis, or the one in Kansas, which is at KU. Both are pretty close, and they're pretty fast. Just click OK. If this is the first time you're using R, it'll Say, is it okay to create a library? Um, in, in which case, you say yes. Uh, and then it'll, it'll go through the process of downloading a bunch of programs and installing them. So as you can see, it is, it is doing that. And since I picked KU, which is close, it's installing them very quickly. I'm going to pause while the rest of those um, download and install. All right, so uh, we can see that it installed a bunch of packages. Oh, it, yeah, there's two sets of packages that it's going to install. So uh, it's downloading the rest of those um, and unpacking and installing those. So got lucky. There was no problem with any of those. That's a good thing. So <clears throat> All right, so now I should have our commander installed. I can just type. require, the word require, R-E-Q-U-I-R-E, -E, and then capital R, C-M-D-R, whoops, got to spell it right, 
require capital R little c MDR and put that in parentheses and it will open up this little graphic user interface and we'll, we'll talk more about that later but if you happen to get any um, messages that says oh it needs this additional package um, um, like for example uh, in TLC require DDD not found uh, I may have to go back and try and install that package so um, let me let me see if it's even available. So install packages, and let me come and find the DDL one. D D D. So it looks like the DDL package. Or DDE, no one DDE. So there, there's not a DDE package that's currently available. So there must be something that there that is being updated, or 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 something like that that is that is going on. So um, I wouldn't um, I wouldn't worry about that. It, it just uh, so I'll just hit cancel out of there, and we're we're ready to go with uh, our. Uh, our R uh, commander and our R. Um, and since we've installed R Studio, we're ready to go with that. So more on that later.